Have a fun alone today. I'm gonna get a little uh, practicing by myself. I don't get to fly as much as I'd like. I'm always watching other people fly, so maybe maneuvers, a few landings, uh, short field landing or power off, something like that, just to stay on top of everything and not get too. Uh oh, doing a question mark. Good landing light, strobe light, come around this boy. This boy is. Third left to take off. Fuel pump, full prop, rich there, and trim to take off. Tuck retired on 526 Delta Sierra, holding short of two, ready to go. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, runway two, clear for takeoff, right turn out to the southeast is approved. Clear for takeoff, runway two, right turn out, 526 Delta Sierra. Alright, there we go. A little soft field takeoff to start our day. Too bad. Kind of cold today, so she lifted off at about 43. Held her ground effect. And then took her up. Nice cool day, and I'm flying by myself, so she handles a bit different for responses. Alright, I can see someone has uh, changed my MFD. I am a track up guy, someone else is a north up guy, so once we get kind of established on cruise, we'll change that. It's all personal preference, the single do either one you want. Alright, there's cruising out to two. And we'll run about 23 square today. That's 23 inches on the fold and 2300 on the RPMs. I'm going to pull the manifold back first. I'm going to run high power and low RPMs. Although you do do it sometimes in a climb. All right, we're gonna check our lean. All right, there we go. Really shoot for the EGT temperature, about 1500. Um, it's burning eight gallons an hour, which is pretty good. I know there's some more complex ways, lean to beat, rich, all that, but uh, it seems to work pretty well. We don't foul plugs, we get a good fuel burn. All right, so we're just going to cruise out. We're going to go down to uh, Anson County. It's about 30 minutes. It's usually not crowded down there, so I can have the place to myself. And uh, once we get out from under Charlotte's Bravo, maybe we'll do a few maneuvers. Get out here by myself. But then I see a lot of manual flight pieces. Most pilots don't seem to work on any kind of maneuvers. They take off, go where they're going, they land, and uh, they don't really do anything after they get their whatever certificate they have. I like to come out every once in a while, I'll do a few steep turns, maybe a stall or two, and just, just keep, I'm, as a flight instructor, you know how to do that stuff, but as a, as a, just a private pilot, I think you should be familiar with, I haven't done it in a few years, be some handy skills to brush up on, you never know when you might need something like that, I like to, but I do see a lot of rusty pilots, well, they're rusty on those skills. And uh, even though they may fly a lot, a lot of them have more hours than I do, but they're just rusty on those skills. And they, it's almost like a, uh, they're learning them all over again. And if you go on a biannual with me, I have to do them. So either choose someone else who maybe is a little easier, I don't know, or, or rush up on them. All right, so these maneuvers we're going to do, come at a minimum of 1,500 HEL. The uh, ground level in this area is about 700 feet. And uh, we're at 3,000, so we're we're high enough, um, but we may go a little higher. Always good. Altitude is your friend. All right, so we kick the autopilot off. Autopilot. And we start slowing down. And let's do a uh, clearing turn. Make sure to around. All right, looking around visually, I don't see anyone. And I'm looking on the uh, MFD for traffic. All right, so I'm going to slow her down to maneuvering speed, which with just me in here, we do have full tanks, but probably 95 to 100 knots is where we want to be. All right, well, let's start out with a Shondell. We'll start out to the, uh, right, we'll use that to, uh, to gain a little altitude. 
Oh, Sean Dow, we're going to bank 30 degrees to the right in this case, and we're going to go full power. See the sun, and then we're going to start pitching up. Hold that 30 degrees, there's our pitch. Hold the 30. Hold the pitch, altitude. and we're going to roll her out, and we messed it up. We rolled out about 15 degrees early. Okay, so clearly that needs some work. And let's try one to the left, maybe we'll have better luck. So bank 30 degrees, push that rudder, full power, and start pitching up to about 15 degrees or so. This plane, and we're going to hold that. All right, there's our 90 degrees, so we're going to hold that pitch. Holy roller out. Hold that pitch. There's the stall horn. We're rolling. And there we have it. That one wasn't too bad. A little rusty. You come out here, you do and they come right back. It's like riding a bike. It comes right back to you. And let's, uh, what are we going to do? How about some steep car turns? That's going to be a turn between 45 and 60 degrees with power. We'll go 360. We'll go left, and then we'll flip around right. and set our altitude bug, plus or minus 100 feet. And we're at 4,400 feet right now, so we'll try to hold there. We'll slow down a little bit. Let's go. Here we go. So we're going to come in here, we're going to turn, and we're going to come up to about 23 inches, 23 inches. All right. Get this down. There's 45. All right. There's plus 45. Diving, we'll give some back pressure. We can roll out a little bit if we need to. Inside. All right, there's that way, and now let's come around this way. All right, and I uh, lost 200 feet, so that was a fail. Minus 100. We lost 200. A little tough. The sun's in my eyes. And Not an excuse. Alright, let's slow her down and try one more. Alright, cool. here we go. Alright, let's try one more. Some of that back pressure. Don't balloon. And we're going to have to here. Take it. Sun. And there's the rollout. All right. We were about 60 feet off. I can, I can live with that. I don't use trim in my steep turns or my steep power turns. I know there's a lot of people who advise you, may make it easier, but, but from my perspective, the point of those maneuvers is to learn how to control the plane in extreme attitudes and banks. And you're not always going to have time to use the trim if, you're, if, you're, if something hits you, emergency hits you or something. So I, I like to do it with just a regular tr plane trimmed out for level flight. And you use holes to do it rather than a, an aid like that. There's nothing wrong with using it. Uh, it's just my personal view. We're getting into an extreme maneuver might be something going on where you're not going to reach for the trim. So it's nice to know how to use the back pressure, unbank it if you have to, to get back where you need to be. Alright, let's go over and do a few landings. I would just do a regular landing first. We can grease one in there. Alright, that was a Try a short field landing. I've done one of those in a while. But we want to get out here under power. About 70. I'm a little slow. And we're just going to try to drag her in. And let's pick the thousand footers as our mark. So we got to hit not before the thousand footers. 
at within 200 feet after. A little further out. Instead of just gliding for the most part in, I'm using power in. Kind of get set, a little slow. There we go. Right, now we're a little fast. Let's slow her down. Coming in at a shallower pitch. I think I landed her a little short. I think I was a little short of my uh, thousand footer, so that would have been a fail. Right, what I want is about 70 knots of your power, if I can get it. That established. I'm going to the number five, four, seven, zero, eight miles. This is where your slow flight, I thought was worthless, comes in. I right, get a little flat, so we're coming down a little sooner. Oh, that was beautiful. I do say so myself. Alright, now we'll leave on that one. That was smooth, we dropped it right on the blocks. That was your short field lane. Diamond Star 526 Delta Tail, make a right 360 and report back inbound to the speedway. Right 360, report speedway, 526 Delta Tail. And Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, when you come out of that turn, start looking on about a uh, three and a half mile left base for a Learjet. That's who you're going to follow. You can maneuver as necessary to follow him. Alright, roger that. We'll be looking for the Lear coming in. 526 Delta Tail. Uh, 526 Delta Sierra traffic site. 526 Delta Sierra, follow that traffic to runway 2, clear to land, you're number 2. Clear to land, number 2, on 2, 526 Delta Sierra. Delta and taxi to the ramp. Delta to the ramp, I'm just thinking Delta here, have a good day. 